Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to the Microsoft Fabric playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about how we can visualize the data in Spark Notebook. So what I mean by that is, so generally whenever you perform some kind of a data manipulation or fetch the data, uh, if you remember from the previous videos, the data will come in a tabular format, right? But if the same data will come with some visual, that will be more easy to get the idea what is happening along with the data, right? So uh, notebooks in Fabric actually gives that inbuilt capability. So ideally it will give in a tabular output, but you can build some visuals on top of it directly. It is an inbuilt capability available uh, in the Fabric notebooks. So we are going to discuss that. Not only that, if the visuals available there feels that it is not suffice for your requirement, then you can use Python graphic libraries also on top of it to build your own custom visuals too. So generally why to build these visuals? Uh, it's the most intuitive way, right? To analyze the results, like the better way to analyze the results, what is happening with the data, right? So that is the reason uh, showing the data in visuals will be very helpful from the leadership point of view always whenever you are working with data, right? So there are some inbuilt uh, charts available with the Microsoft notebooks. Uh, let's try to show you, show me, let, let me try to show you that first. And then we will use one Python library also to build one custom visual to a small visual. Okay. So let's go to browser. Uh, so this is my workspace. If you remember, we were using this workspace from the previous videos, my workspace. And here I have this notebook called notebook three, uh, which I used even in my previous video too. So always try to watch the videos in the same sequence so that you will get what is happening exactly. So I have opened that notebook to already here. So let me go to notebook two and in this notebook two, if you remember, right? So if I go to end, we have created some tables already. So either I take the data from the table or maybe if I take the data from a data frame, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, when you display the data, the data will display below the cell like this in a table view. But you can use this chart capability also to get a visual around it. Okay. So let me do one thing. So if you remember, we have created one table called TBL products in our previous video. So let me take that code here and let me go to the new cell here. What I want to do, I want to group by products by category. So there is something called product category column. So I want to group by that. So if you see here, you see you have a product category, right? So I want to group by this category column and see how many products I have. So that's the, that's what I want to do. So what I'm doing it group by products. So when you do that group by, so you will get to product category column and I want to get a count, right? So I want to get a count as maybe P underscore count. Okay. So now if I run this cell, I will get the information, the aggregated information of the products, like maybe electronics products this much, furniture products this much, kitchen products this much. I will get that aggregation. So let's see how the aggregation look like and then let's try to use the inbuilt visual capability there to represent the same data with a better visual there, better chart there basically. You can see that, you can see that data came in a tabular format there below, right? So now let me use this new chart capability which is available in the notebook, in the Microsoft Fabric notebook and I will create a visual around it. So I'm clicking this new chart and the moment I does it, you see that now the results were coming in a, in a pie chart. So let me reduce the zoom. You can clearly see that, right? Uh, and uh, you see that electronics, 30% electronics items were there. Kitchen items were 30%, furniture 20%, sports items 20%. So this visual looks very better, right? So if even if you want to change the visual, you see the suggestions here. So you can go a different suggestion also for any visual. Not only that, if you click this start editing, this will give the customization options. Basically, you can customize the settings here, like you can customize the title, x-axis, y-axis values and other stuff. So this is like a inbuilt visible, which was available in your uh, Microsoft Fabric notebooks. Okay, so you can change this. You can play around with these visuals. If you want to delete it, select that and delete the visual. You, you are back to your tabular view. Okay, so if I go back to my OneNote, so we have seen this inbuilt notebook charts capability just now. Not only that, we can use our own graphics packages also. In in Microsoft Fabric Notebooks, you can write a code in PySpark. That means you can write a code in Python, right? 
so python has lot of packages that that are related to graphics and that will help you to draw the charts a uh, customized way like you in your own way you can draw that one of such uh, great library or the most used library or the most popular library is the matplot library a very basic and most used commonly used library so that library has lot of functionalities or functions in it that will help you to plot this uh, customizable chart by your own way right you can do that also so if the inbuilt charts were not helpful to you you can go with that uh, different libraries so we will discuss about matplot library in this video so if you see this code here right if i scroll down so here exactly what we did so the same thing happening so i am taking the aggregation of the product tables here and uh, i am converting that that this entire sql functions park.sql function will give the data back in a data frame format you know that from the previous videos now i don't want to take the data frame as it is because uh, this library like matplot library uh, will work with a pandas data frame so i am converting that to the pandas to pandas then once that is happening i am taking this plot uh, which i imported from my library and i am clearing the surface clearing the plot area and then i am setting a figure size here like how much size i want the plot area and then x axis what values y axis what values what color what kind of a chart it is it's a bar chart and setting up some customization title x label value y label value then finally showing so literally i am doing the entire drawing of this chart using this graphics library right so you can do that as well in your own code if you know any better libraries also you can do that so let me try to show this code and explain you uh, so if I, I copied this code and i am going to my notebook here so let me do one thing so let me remove this code here so i mean and then paste the code which i copied okay so now if you see here right so if i explain this code to you so let me zoom this if it is not uh, big size enough to for you to watch so if you see what is happening here is first i am importing uh, i am taking this matplot library and from there i am importing the python plot okay so python plot so that's the module which we have to import and work on it and then i am i'm taking the data right so i am taking the data here uh, from my table in a group by fashion uh, using this park.sql function and i'm converting that to the pandas data frame uh, and once that happens so what i am doing it here is i am taking i taken that module plot module that means python plot module and i am clearing the plot area and then i am setting up a size of the plot area here figure function helps you to set the size of it then finally i am creating the bar chart here this time so i am using a dot bar function so instead of dot bar if i say dot then you see there, there will be so many other types of the charts also you can do so let me use a bar here okay and for the bar chart x axis i want to take from my data right from my data frame take the category column onto the x axis and the y onto the y axis that is height count column then the color of the bars right i want in an orange color then finally i want to do some customization also so what i am doing it here is so i am setting a title here and i am setting a x axis value y axis value and finally i am showing the plot to you so when i do that right so if i run this right it will also give a chart to me so let me run this and show you the results so you can see that my cell is executing it here and let's wait for the results to come up here cool you see that you see that we got a chart right we got a x axis products and we got a title products count we got a count and we got a cool chart here right uh, so so this is like i just want to show that we can use some graphic libraries and we can do our own charting as well right we no need to be depend on the inbuilt charts which are available in a fabric notebooks so not only this uh, actually um, i have used this matplot library right but uh, uh, many people will prefer some other libraries too so it is like up to the customers or up to the users what libraries they want to use uh, and uh, there is something called cban library also that is very helpful uh, which help you to give highly customized charts right so not only this matplot library even the cban library helps you to do a advanced charts so that is a basic idea about this video to have you sense that we can visualize the data in a notebook itself directly either by inbuilt charts or the custom charts using your own graphic libraries so i hope you got an idea about it uh, thanks for watching stay, stay tuned for the next video thank you